What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Chucky Season 2 in this video here again today. Now I guess the panel that we were supposed to get Saturday at San Diego Comic Con is off the off the table. I guess it's not going to be happening. I could be mistaken. Don Mancini announced this in a video. It's also tweeted out by the official Chucky page. But what they did promise is that we still will be getting something this weekend. Now originally from what it was told to us and what was presented as panel details, it was supposed to be just the stars of the series. A few stars of the series with Don Mancini like Brad Dorf and of course Don Mancini himself and then some other guests along with them and then they were going to show us I, what, what I was assuming was a behind the scenes montage of stuff that we could expect potentially for season two but we're not going to get that anymore and I guess the panel isn't happening either but what we are probably going to still get is a snippet of behind the scenes footage maybe with some of the stars talking about the upcoming season before transitioning into the very first official teaser that's going to be released for the season this Saturday this was announced by Don Mancini himself Himself, and again also co-signed by the official Chucky Twitter page and other social media accounts so we will get our first official teaser for Chucky season 2 this weekend I know a lot of you might be excited about that excited to see what footage we're gonna get to see and what ideas I guess we can make up off of the footage shown in the teaser already I know I've done a several videos talking about this we have Glenn and Glenda back uh, the audition tape dialogue bits that I've talked about that make it seem like there's gonna be some scene where Glenn and Glenda are interacting with their mother Tiffany they find Nika tied up and they interrogate her about it um the whole thing about being shocked that she's lesbian i've talked about that too we know lachlan watson is going to be starring in the series as both glenn and glinda i assume and what they're going to do i guess like how a lot of you presented to me in the comment section which does make a lot of sense they're just going to say that the that they are both glenn and glinda and just use both of them like i guess Lindsay lohan with the parent trap in in some capacity if that's what they want to do then that's just what they'll do so I'm also expecting season two, of course, address Nika, what's going on with her. I know you guys are too, want to get some closure on that because a lot of people feel that Nika was done very dirty at the end of season one, understanding what's happening with Andy and that Tiffany doll and all those Chucky dolls that he was trying to get spread out to other hospitals across the country. Uh, also seeing what happens with this in-game in mind relating, not in-game, but goal plan that Chucky has to take out Tiffany and take out those responsible for why his plans at the end of season one didn't go as planned. Devin, Jake, Lexi, how all of them are going to factor in. Catching up with Kyle, since of course it's pretty much all but confirmed that Kyle and did indeed survive that fire. Since Elise is out there, Christina Elise is out there shooting for season two. So it doesn't necessarily... If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think there's actually been a flat out thing that says she's alive. She could, of course, be shooting a lot of flashback sequences, but it's highly unlikely. Kyle survived the fire at the end. She'll be back. The fire sequence again. I've said it before. I'll say it again. P completely useless. Everyone lived, <laughs> which I'm fine with. But at some point, you know, don't don't do stuff like that. If no one's going to really get hurt, uh, you don't have to go that big if it's ultimately going to be no harm done to anyone uh you could have had the same outcome with something a lot more smaller but i don't really care big fan of kyle big fan of christine elise and what she's been doing with the character also i am thoroughly pleased to know finally that coming as someone who grew up with those with those original movies you know and then kyle just vanished kyle just vanished she was just gone and then for the longest period of time after 2004 you could only rewatch child's play help to see the Chucky and then we finally got the series back and then the talks and the hopes of Kyle coming back started up again she ultimately came back at the end of uh cult of Chucky and it's nice to just have her more prevalent again in the in the continuity all these years after that that original sequel when she debuted and became a fan favorite kind of like I would compare her to how Kirby became a fan favorite amongst amongst screen fans Kyle is I would say to a lot of people the Kirby of the Chucky series if I'm making a wrong comparison there, you can let me know in the comment section. But I'm, I, I, I think a lot of you know what I mean. If you're both a Chucky fan and a Scream fan, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, hoping to see some resolutions, of course, as far as what's going on with Devin, what's going on with Jake, what's going on with Lexi, where are they at in their lives? Are they living together? So more specifically, I'm thinking about Lexi and Jake living together. Devin, I would presume, is not going to be living anywhere near them. Uh he's going to be somewhere off with another relative a lot of people again have been thinking he's going to be away at some type of different school altogether because of the demise of his mother leaving him with of course no one to stay stay with in hackensack i guess maybe he's just like a few miles away from hackensack and he just goes to a different school that's even miles further deep into that location and somehow he gets factored back into the narrative because again chucky will be stalking and tormenting those who are responsible for the down, downfall of the plan they tried to execute at the end of the original season 
I really am curious to see if there's any sort of time jump that happens too. It seems like that's the safe assumption going off of how season one ended that they will do some type of quick time jump to maybe catch people up with uh, the characters. Let us see that some time has passed and not pull like a Halloween kills where it's just picking up right after. These characters have been through things. Chucky's laid low. They haven't heard anything too much from Andy maybe. Maybe Andy has gone AWOL, they think. But meanwhile, we catch up with Andy and learn that he's been being manipulated and tormented and provoked and all these other different words I could come up with that I can't really think of right now as it pertains to helping that Tiffany doll put these Chucky dolls in these children hospitals. And then, of course, catching up with Tiffany. I did see an image Jennifer Tilly posted that has some people thinking that what if Tiffany is pregnant in this ser in this season? Or what if she leaves town and goes somewhere else and somehow ends up pregnant? I really don't want to see another pregnancy storyline. Again, I, I'm someone who really doesn't want this series to do too many outlandish things. But then again, look at what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a series in which <laughs> multiple dolls were running around at one point alive talking killing people uh so it's really not i guess that outlandish to reintroduce another accelerated pregnancy storyline uh i just don't want them to again become too over the top and over the wall with what they're doing but again is it really even that logical or reasonable to say that when considering all the things they've already done prior to what i'm saying i don't really want to see again uh, I guess that's really not that big of a deal. It's just all, again, how it's presented. Jennifer Tilly, of course, could pull it off. She's an amazing actress. I just really... I think a part of it is just me mostly not wanting to see any any real things from C to Chucky outside of the only highlight for me, which was Glenn and Glinda. Uh, and that's really it. I'm glad we're going to have Glenn and Glinda Black back. <laughs> I hope we learn a lot about what they've been up to, get to learn about their relationship they've had with Tiffany and things over the years that it seems that was again teased in the audition tape such as maybe there's a there's a tarnished relationship between Glinda and her own father Chucky. And for what reason we'll find out why. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description I have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies, news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, Right, guys i will see you in the next video